time for Ryan's Roses on Kiss. All right, back room, do we have everything lined up? We've got Patty on the line from Altadena. Yep, ready to go. Okay, so here's the thing. This is a public service. It's our first call of the year. And Patty, Sisney, and Tanya says, I've been suspicious of my husband for a little while. So there's already been this feeling in her gut. Yeah. That something's off. And that's not a good feeling. And especially when it's confirmed that you might be on the right track, that's bad. She says, we were part of a New Year's Eve celebration. We were visiting family in Seattle. He flew back early from work. When I got home, I found a tube of lipstick under the oven. Have you gone down on all fours or, or on your stomach to look under the oven? It's just a bunch of fuzz down there in my place. No, for me, I have to go down there often because the kids, like little toys, like balls or whatever, will roll oh, under roll there. there. Yeah, and then I have to like scoop them out with Actually, another toy, like a stick. George's balls have gotten down there mm-hmm. with Cheez-Its before. Oh. And so it's amazing what you'll find down there. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff. Pencils. So she goes, when I got home, she found that, and he says it must be someone from her family or their family because... They hosted Thanksgiving and Christmas this year. But Patty says no one in the family was wearing hot pink lipstick. Hot pink lipstick. Now, if you're breaking the rules of the marriage and you drop your lipstick under the oven, don't you think you should fetch the lipstick? Yeah. You would notice if that goes missing, even if you're the mistress or if you're a guest at a holiday party. And not necessarily. What? How would you not know if you drop your lipstick? I don't reapply my lipstick ever really when I'm out. So if it rolled out of my bag or it fell out of my pocket or something and it went under an oven, I wouldn't notice until like, so I got you home. You don't reapply your lipstick when you go out? Nah. So then Patty. Why do you bring it? Okay, you two on your phone. <laughs> Patty. Interesting uh, point. I don't know why I bring it. So is your hunch that he had another woman over and she lost her lipstick and just didn't retrieve it? Is that what you think happened? That's, yeah. I don't know where else the thing would have come from. I'm going to ask you a question. Okay. Before all of this, mm-hmm. why do you think you felt the feelings you felt about your husband and the suspicion you felt about him for a long time now? Where's that coming from? He's just been acting weird lately, um, distracted on his phone constantly, finds random reasons to you know run to the store, uh, just like little trips. He's not gone long, but he just seems to love running errands all of a sudden. Uh, So anyway, it made me suspicious, but I didn't give it too much thought. Um, Life is busy. Again, devil's advocate here, but what if he's just trying to be Mm -hmm. helpful? (laughs) I mean, he never was before. I don't know what suddenly changed. Mm. Okay. So... You have a hunch. You you feel like this is going on. Lipstick doesn't make a lot of sense. He's blaming it on your family. Mm -hmm. We're going to make the call. Uh, How long have you been married, Patty, to this guy? 17 years. Um, We're going to call him. Ryan's Rose is right now. We just met Patty. She found lipstick in their home after she and her husband were apart on New Year's Eve. She thinks her husband had somebody over on New Year's Eve. And she goes and says, hey, I found this under the oven, honey. Hmm. And he says... I don't know. We had people over for Christmas, probably your family. Maybe someone in your family dropped it because they had their families over for Christmas and for Thanksgiving. And he's trying to say that's from a family member. She's like, my family doesn't wear this bright lipstick. Doesn't they, That's not this, their shade. Right. How many people were at the family gathering at Christmas? Did she tell us that? How many people were there at the gathering for Christmas, Patty? Um, so his mom and dad came to our house. We did like a, an early Christmas there. And then we went up to Seattle to see my brother's family, uh, for Christmas itself. And then he came back on the 29th oh. because he had a big job on New Year's Eve, um, in case he's in catering. And then when I got home, I found the lipstick. So it would so have just he been his someone in my but, family. But, but for people who are just joining us, you've been worried about him for a while now, and this is just more to add. So okay. I need you to say, Ryan, you have my permission to call, and then your husband's name on Kiss FM. Go ahead. Okay, Ryan, you have my permission to call on Kiss FM. We're gonna call him right now. Be very quiet, Patty. We want to try and find okay. out who he sends the roses to, who he puts on the card. What he's thinking about, like that first instinct of where these flowers, romantic flowers should go. That's what we're looking for here. Here we go. Good luck. Be very quiet, Patty. All right. Hello. Hi, 
Hi, may I speak to Rick, please? Yeah, this is him. Hi, Rick. My name is Sienna. I'm calling from Corner Blooms. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. We're actually a flower shop located um, here in Altadena on the corner of Lake Avenue near the Jack in the Box, brand new to the area, and offering a promotion to local residents today. It's a free dozen red roses Get that you can send here. to anybody that you'd like. Is there anyone that you would want to send flowers to? You know, I'm, I mean, I, you're not going to believe this. I was just about to start calling florists. You were? Well, these are yeah, free. I'm not kidding. I don't need any yeah. credit card info or cash or anything like that. It's just a dozen red roses. Um, we're just trying to promote our business. And hopefully, if you like our arrangements, you can pack as a customer one day or you spread the word. Well, yeah. So I work in catering and we have a job this weekend. Uh, the flower company we work with just pulled out. I mean, you know, normally I'm on the food side of things, so it's not really my problem, but I told this party planner that we work with that I would do her solid and start calling around the florist to see if we could get a job last minute. So I'm literally sitting here thinking, like, where do I begin between Pasadena, Altadena? Uh, so, you know, when you call me and you're a florist, I mean, it's, it's crazy. Uh, we can handle that separately, but is there anybody that you would want to just send these flowers? These are kind of like a smaller arrangement, a little bit more romantic. Is there anybody in your love life, per se, that you would want to send these flowers to? Well, no, no. I'm, I, what I'm saying is it, you won't have to do any more cold calling because if we can hook you up with this party planner, then that'll actually be, that'll open up a lot of jobs for you. Great. Well, we can do that after we um, handle this note. So is there anybody you want to send these flowers to? Uh, so sorry. Do you, do you own the place or do you do you just work there? Yes, I own the place. So who would you oh, want to send these okay. roses yeah. to? Uh, well, you got my name, you got my number, and again, like what I can do is if you give me a call back or if you send me an email, I can provide you. Uh, I can hook you up with the party planner, and we can make sure that this thing gets going, and and you know we can work together going forward. Okay. Um. There's nobody that you would want to just send the roses to at this point right now. Uh, okay. Like the free flowers, uh, like yeah, the promotional sure. flowers. Uh, send me some roses. Um, yeah. Uh, can you send them to my wife, Patty? Yes. And what would you like to put on the card? Uh, okay. Well, I mean, I, I, uh, why don't you say everything's coming up roses? Oh, that's very clever. Okay. Uh, hang on one second. What is going on with her, Patty? Rick, I love him. I, by the way, he's like barely wanting to send the flowers to Patty. Well, he's like, yeah, he's like rocking and, and rolling. He's wanting to help a civilian. But he was like troubled to have to send flowers <laughs> to his wife. Uh, Patty, is your husband's very Animated. business focused? Yes, he he's always like that. Do you want us to tell him he's on the air? Or do you want to deal with him yourself? Because we're at a point now where we have to make a decision. Yeah, I don't. I guess just just tell him what's going on. You want to? I don't. Think yeah, here we go. The, here we go. I, I want to just before we lose him. Here we go. I'm going to put him up. Hey, Rick, your voice is being broadcast on the radio. I've got your wife Patty on the line. Thank you so much for holding on. Just if you have a second, we want to tell you what's going on. Patty, your wife, Rick, are you there? Yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm on the radio. Yes, sir. Uh, I need you to know that everything you say is being heard. So, Patty, your wife is on the line with us right now. Oh, okay. And Patty reached out to us, Rick, because she thinks something went on on New Year's Eve at your home because she found a uh, tube of lipstick under the oven. And she has this in internal feeling that something's off in your relationship. She's suspicious that you might have had someone over, and that's their lipstick, and to... Be honest and direct. She wants to know if you're cheating on her. Rick, how do you respond? She's on the phone now. You may talk to Patty. Patty, the tube of lipstick I told you is probably from uh, Thanksgiving when your family came over. It must have, somebody must have kicked it under the, the stove. She doesn't believe that, so let's move past sure. that. What is going on with you and somebody else, Rick? I mean, Rick. sorry, Patty. Uh, plan. What, what do you think is going on? We've talked about this. No, 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 no. Is Susie the party planner you're talking about? Like, she wears that pink lipstick. Uh, I guess she does. Okay. And, yeah, 
That, that, that's Susie, you yeah. Susie over when I was in Seattle, didn't you? Uh, sorry, yeah. Uh, what's it called? She came over because uh, we, we needed to get stuff loaded into the van. Um, okay. So where was Lewis? Doesn't he usually help you with that? Uh, Louis, Louis was running late. Look, okay, I promise you, this is no big deal. I'm not even sure what's going on here. Okay, I'm just saying you and Susie sure help each other out a lot. Okay, look, I can you stop? I know what you're implying, and I know what I've already been accused of on the radio, apparently. Rick, can you just, can you, you just Rick, stop? you're trying look, to tell your wife that that was the lipstick of, of her family's. It's not. It's clearly the party planner's lipstick. So why are we even lying about that? What's going on? Just tell your wife. I mean, but that's the thing is I didn't know she dropped her lipstick. We were in a hurry. We were trying to load but the But why van. was her lipstick there? Why were you loading in the van? Why didn't you tell your wife she was over? Why does your wife feel like something's going on with you and the party planner? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, I don't know. I guess we've worked together a lot, and I, do, I don't. Is she right? Is Patty don't. right? Is Patty no. right? There's something you're not telling me. There is something you're not telling me, Rick. I'm going to go. Babe, Rick, there's nothing. Take this chance to this. tell her. Doing? Take this chance to tell her. Please. Babe, I love you. Please. No. That's not no. telling us None what you did. I'm, you I'm may... done. I have this conversation now. Right. I need to go. All right, Rick, uh, Patty, we'll let you go. I think you're right, Patty. There's uh-huh. something more to this story. Yeah. Good luck. I hope you figure it out. Ryan's Roses. <sighs> you see, we. Started pushing, and he's like, "Oh yeah, she was over." Yeah, that is her lipstick. Oh, he's keeping it. That is it. her color. Mm. We had Ryan's roses, Patty and Rick. So Rick had the party planner. Uh, what I don't know what party they were planning? Was it the Christmas party? What party were they planning? I, don't know. I didn't get to that. New Year's. He was a, he just he just said he was a caterer or he worked with a caterer. Fine for what? I don't know. Maybe wedding. Right, well, anyway, um, Rick and Patty were apart on New Year's Eve. And all of a sudden, Patty comes back, and there's this lipstick in the kitchen. And she finds it. It's on the floor. It's kind of falling under the oven. And Rick says, that's probably from our family. And then he backtracks and says, oh, yeah, it, it may be I had the party, Susie, the party planner over. And maybe it's hers. Oh, yeah, it is her color. All right, so he's, we just we know for fact, I don't know if he's cheating, but for fact, he's having this person over while his wife's out there not telling his wife. And yeah. it kept being more and more to the story. It was one of those deals. Yeah. I don't like other women in my house when I'm not home, and then you not tell me about it. So Leslie's on the line in Fullerton. Leslie, go ahead. You're on with this. You heard this, Ryan's Roses. Now, if you are Patty, she has a hunch. He's cheating. He's definitely not telling her everything. What happens here? What do you think? It's clearly it's Susie's lipstick. I mean, he was absolutely hiding the fact that she was there while Patty was gone, and why is she wearing lipstick to help him move boxes, like bright pink lipstick? Like, who does so that? Did the party planner want the lipstick to be discovered? Because if you dropped lipstick and you weren't supposed to be around, then you'd fetch it. That's a good question. Yeah. Like, how wild did it get that her purse got thrown around, that the lipstick went flying? Hmm. I feel like yeah, that's easy. Like, they were clearly, like, making out. It fell out of her pocket. It rolled under the thing. That's the visual I have. I think clearly, she's I, I think she's on the right track. I think, look, you know when you feel something, and then it was confirmed there's something there because he's not giving you the full story. He's just not. He's not being upfront. He's not yeah. being transparent. You need a transparent partner. I love how so defensive i love when guys get so defensive and then he goes please please like no please i love you please i love you well that's not telling me what you're doing behind my back yeah so so baby i love you yeah well you're also cheating on me Mm -hmm. so that's real complicated bro all right leslie thank you for listening to us he needs to be cut loose all right ciao (laughs) ciao 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 Uh, no (laughs) <laughs> ciao, ciao. Uh, so, hey, uh, yeah, that's Ryan's Roses. Now, we do that when? Mondays and Thursdays. That's right. Ryan's Roses twice a week. Mondays and Thursdays. Next one, Monday.